This is a code walkthrough for the example file operatorslogical.java. This file is similar to some prior ones in that we're setting up a scanner to read in an age. We've set up a couple of age thresholds. We're reading in an age, and then we're using a couple of conditional expressions to find out whether we satisfy or don't satisfy these conditional expressions. What's different about this example is now we're using the logical operators OR or AND to glue together more compound, larger logical expressions involving simpler relational expressions. So each of these individual relational expressions, when evaluated, yields a simple true-false result. And so we're gluing together larger conditional expressions out of operands, which are true and false type of values. So here what we're checking is two age bands. Are we either young enough to be a child or old enough to be a senior? Or are we within a band where we're old enough to be an adult and not yet old enough to be a senior? This presents a good opportunity to talk about testing. When you're writing code in any language, there's often a tendency to just be satisfied when your code compiles and runs cleanly for some sample input. But when you've got logic like that, you should really take into account whether or not you're going to be testing it thoroughly. So here, if we have these three age breakpoints, we really have several regions we need to test. Something less than 12, something between 12 and 18, something between 18 and 65, and something greater than 65. But we also should test the boundary values as well. So 12, 18, and 65, and make sure that in all cases, it satisfies the logic correctly. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and compile this and let's run it for each of these boundary values for starters. For the age 12, we're expecting that this condition will be true, which is going to be enough by short circuit evaluation to set this entire expression equal to true. But both of these will be false, so this entire expression will be false. So for the age of 12, we expect a true false result. And that's what we get. Let's run it again for another value. Let's pick 18. Now what we're expecting is that this first one should be false. This condition will be true. This condition will be true. So this entire condition will be true. So we're expecting a false true result, which is what we get. Let's try it for one more value by running it again. Let's try it for the age of 65. So here we're expecting this case to be true, which makes, by short circuit evaluation, this entire expression true because it's an OR. This one is clearly true, but this one will be false because we're not less than 65, we are 65. So that will make this entire expression false. So we're expecting a true false result which is what we get. So let's try it then for some other conditions. Let's try it for, say, the age of 11. So that should be true, false, and it is. Let's try 16. What is that going to give us? This will be false. This should be false also. So we're expecting a false, false, which is what we get. Let's try it for say 45. So that should give us false true, which is what we get. And then finally, let's try it again for something older than 65. Let's do 70. And now we're expecting a true false result, which is what we get. So the moral of the story here is don't simply write code like this and test it for one value and assume that it's correct. Look at the logical regions of your data and test it for multiple values. Also, in logic like this, make sure that you don't include a certain age in both bands. For example, suppose we did this, age less than or equal to that of a senior, and we put in the age of 65, we would find that 65 satisfies this condition and it also satisfies this condition even though perhaps we don't mean it to. So by looking at sufficient amounts of data, including the edge cases, we can find little subtle bugs like this in our logic. 
So always make sure to test your logical code sufficiently. Okay, that's it for this example.